Right, good morning guys and girls. Um, First off, look, just um, check out the new branding, new sports top, yeah. Initials are only there for work, so customers know who I am. Um, anyway, so look, it's not a site you see very often, having two here at the same time. So basically, um, this is, again, I always say it's quite humbling, isn't it, but you've got a customer who's made contact and brought, had two of the, two vans um, delivered down to me, both at the same time. Welcome to MJ Performance. He's from Liverpool, so their business is around that area. They're both work vehicles, so they do get used. So um, they're both not mint because they're being used every day, aren't they? So, um, which is great. That's what you want to see. But yeah, so both the same in the flame orange. Um, they're down for our faux custom cooler packages, which I'll reveal more once we start get one on a ramp, um, and then we'll start taking it apart. I'll present it all out and show it to you. Um, the colour scheme that it's having. You might have an idea because of the colours of the van. All right, um, and then I have a Steinbauer power modules to go with it. So the, the kit that we, the full cooler package uh, that we recommend really. Um, so yeah, that's all it is. So it's only a quick intro on these two and then we'll continue it when we get one inside and then we'll crack on from there. But yeah, great. Um, it's, just a, it's just great that these customers will come that sort of distance uh, to have us do this. So. Yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so, second one, we'll call it. Still out there, for waiting to be done. And then spin around, Laura. And there's the first one. So, let's put the Steinbauer plate on it. Um, you've already seen the number plates anyway. These are work vehicles, she's not really bothered at the end of the day. So, um, other than being on the channel and exposed, it's the work vehicles. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that Laura, so we've started, you know, we just started to take things off. This will all be pulled off. So what we'll do is, um, headlights out, uh, front bumper off. Of course, you've got to take the number plate off to get the front bumper off because it's got two fixing bolts in behind. Pull that off really carefully on this. It's an MSRT front bumper um, and you've got to be super careful with them. But what we'll do is just a, an intro on the start of what we're doing on these pair. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated as we go along. So. I need to crack on, see you in a bit. Right, so, da -da, there we are. So as you can see, front end's off, bumper's there, look. Don't know if I showed you that already, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so, all the top half's off, boost pipes, look, down there. I see the boost pipe, hot side, cold side. Um, under here, look, we've disconnected all the injectors because the Steinbauer power module is a go-between, basically. So instead of the injectors from the original loom going straight to the injectors, they go to the Steinbar loom and then the Steinbar loom goes on to the injectors. So it's a go between. And the same with the on your boost pressure uh, sensor. That's what it does. Okay, and then obviously we tag up all the wire into positive feed, negative feed, sent, uh, signal wire, white one. I'll trace that around in through. Obviously, punch in through here, look. And tag it up so it's nice and neat. That will go down onto the pedal. And then obviously, we need to then connect that. There's a harness, uh, Steinbar don't, you know, they don't uh, mess around. It's a proper harness that's been made with the proper connectors, so it's a go-between on the pedal, because that's how it picks up. It's a potentiometer and it picks up the signal, and that's how it works. All right, so, um, need to crack on with that. Um, there's a box down there, look, Laura, which you're gonna open a bit later. I need to crack on and do the Steinbar, so Laura's, uh, Gonna pop home for a second when she comes back, then we'll undo that and spread it all out. Um, and then we'll show you the hoses when you know we'll grab them and 
present them out. Um, yeah, so that's it. Got some other things to do on this as well, I think, can we? But um, front and rear brake pads, which we, he knew that there was a problem with the, with the brakes because the brake pad warning lights clipped it, but it's the front there, right down in the rear is getting a bit low. So whilst it's here, we'll do that as well. So we'll get this one out of the way. Um, as soon as we've done that, uh, and then we'll switch it, bring the other one in, and then we'll, we don't want to start repeating and doing the, no point doing the same video twice, Laura, is it? Yeah. So we'll just do like, um, I don't know, maybe just like a recap and a quick uh, blast through on the other one. But yeah, so to be continued, see you in a bit. Right, guys and girls, uh, we continue. Um, so I just scan down that. So you can see the layout now of our cooler package. Everyone's different, um, which is really, really good. Um, different uh, color vans. Um, they want different uh, color intercoolers and pipe work and um, silicon hoses, which is really, really good. So as you can see, so we'll start off up here. Look, so we got the Steinbauer power module, which is there. It's all branded up for us. There's all your loom. And this is this bit here is your, your pedal loom, which as I said before, they don't mess around um, slime bar, it's all done properly. Um, the only wire you have to connect in is the signal wire, this white one here, which we'll show you all that once I start fitting it up. But um, yeah, so then we got the party piece, which is the intercooler lot, finished in, um, well, it's sort of like a satin black on this one um, with the orange MJP logo, which, because the van is flame orange. So that's why we've gone for that. Um, it's not exactly the same colour, of course it's not. Um, and you've got the crossover pipe, look, which has got our dual branding on it, which you can see there, look, and the MJP tag and then the Pro tag. Um, that's an ITG filter, but it's all logoed up with Pro Alloy. Um, got the other charge pipes there. Um, all your stainless steel marine clip kit, little brackets, etc. And then we've got the silicon hoses, which on this application are in the orange, and we've got a white logo. Um, we do do a black logo, but the black logos are not available at the moment. Um, so white logos, no, not that it matters, it's, you know, some people don't want the logos on it, but it's just a nice little finishing touch. Um, obviously, the, you've got the um, mass airflow sensor there, which is just ready to go into the, I don't want to get around to doing that. Um, so yeah, so that, that's, it's pretty cool guys and girls. Um, the other, just to let you know, so the other one that we've got, the other Flame Orange Transit, which is the, you know, the partner to this one, um, is going to have an identical setup. So basically, when I present um, that one, uh, it will be the same as this, right? So they both have any identical. It's just I think it's really cool. So yeah, so we spin around a lot. It's all stripped. Well, I need to crack on with this now, um, and then we'll come back and catch up in uh, with the vids. Soon, plenty of pictures to come as well, right? So, see you in a bit. Right. Orange gloves, thought I'd put appropriate gloves on to uh, go with the uh, the orange down there, the orange van. Why not, eh? Just keep it all uh, in sync, Laura, yeah? Mm. Right, so as you can see, um, just to uh, quickly show you what I've done under here. So, this is a Stein bar. No, this is the connection which goes to the side bar power module which you've already seen which will then velcro and sit on top of the fuse box um power feeds are here negative feed from there and then we've got this signal wire which we just need to wire it around inside the down to the uh, throttle pedal which i'll show you in a sec this is all the go between which is for the injectors so the main injector is unplugged go between on the loom and then the stein bar plugs back into the injectors um boost pressure sensor same thing all right that's that side of it. So we try and keep it all nice and neat. Um, you know, put a little P-clip on there just to keep it just tidy. Um, got to do a few more um, clipping as we go. But um, yeah, inside the van there, Laura, just show you on the, the pedal quickly. Come round. You might not be able to, I might have to get the light to, to show you. So you've got to go in there. It's just worth showing you and that's all, isn't it? So if you look, you'll probably be able to get in under there. Lower. See the white signal wire coming out of the... See it? So where the 
steering column boot that is there, that flexi. See it? Yep. Above that is a white cable coming out of that. Just about. See it? And that white cable, that's the signal cable that then obviously goes to the throttle over there. Throttle pedal, which is got a, a loom, um, a little harness, and then we tuck it all the way behind the carpet, all done. So that's that side of it. And then we've got to build up all the uh, intercooler and pipe work. That's the fun part. So we need to crack on with that and then um, back soon. All right, guys and girls. Um, yeah, we've uh, made good progress. So as you can see, look, um, intercooler's all on. Got a crack in uh, MJP logo in orange. You see the uh, orange spruce pipes up, all logoed up, and then to this side. The logo's underneath on that one, by the way, so you see that. And I'll put it up in the air. Um, crossover pipe lock. We've got down onto the turbo. Orange hoses, all logo. This one. And the turbo. Right. That one there, look. From the throttle. And then you've got your crossover pipe lock, as I said, in satin black when it's geo tagged, R tag, and pro. And you've got the. Um, Another coupler there, and then the filter, easier to see it from here, look. Upside down, but for alloy. It's an ITG filter, actually. Um, I've left it running, so I can see it's a Steinbauer power module. Look, you can see where I've tagged it, that's the white signal wire, which we just loop it around, tag it up with a little P-clip, up to there, and you can actually to positive, negative feed. Negative is the most important thing to get right, because if you don't get a good earth, you will have all sorts of problems. Um, this grey wire here, it's not needed, all right? That's if you want to um, have a remote or a switch. Like, I've got a remote on mine where I can turn it on and off. So put it back to stop. And then if I'm demonstrating it to somebody, I can put it back to stop power and then put the stein bar on via the key fob. And then uh, they can just sample the difference, really. But um, that's it. So on the stein bar power module, so what you do is take, you obviously flip it up, take the underside of the lid off. There's all your wizardry inside all right so you see that's the power light and then you've got the other one is a, a yellow led um it's just a red one that we're looking at at the moment so obviously when the engine's off it's off when you're turning ignition on it'll come on as a power light um to make sure you've got a steady power and then it's flashing which it should be that's to see you got the the power is correct when you bring up the revs it'll flash faster depending on so it'll it'll just go with the flash and we'll go with the revs so faster and faster the revs and faster and faster that will flash oh, sorry the higher the revs the flash the faster that will flash all right so that's all fine we don't touch the touch the potentiometer you can mess around with that that is set at like 12 o'clock as you can see look you've got the arrow there there um, but yeah that's it so it's all working good um i've got to do some brakes on it yet front and rear brake pads um but yeah I'm quite pleased with this one, and the uh, I've got to do it all again tomorrow. Yeah, so we're all uh, we're almost there, all right, guys and girls. So I'll do a finish up bit on this one when it's you know let's turn it off actually, because uh, and then you'll see what I mean by the power light. So let's turn it off. All right. So if we turn the power ignition back on again, all right. And then come round there. So it's a solid red light, which is what it's supposed to be. So that you've uh, you know that you got uh, power, and that's it. So we will um, we will leave it there for for now, and um, to be continued. So catch you in a bit. Right. We continue with uh, Mike's uh, partners, business partners, uh, MSRT Transit. As you can see, what I've done is is laid out there, look, uh, exploded form. Um, obviously, you can see that that's all stripped. We'll just recap on that before we go and have a look at the other stuff. But so now the um, the sound deadening covers off all the injectors, etc. They're all disconnected. Always mark them. Just that they can't really. They they sort of like sit in. The, their own position anyway but I just mark them anyway that's just me what I do but yeah that's all right so we'll 
and the boost pressure sensor. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll just take a look and make sure that everything is as it should be before I start installing the, the Stein bar. So obviously, as we said, showed you before on the other one, the connections are a power feed. I use that one as the uh, earth. And then obviously I'll make sure that that is really good, clean it all up, make sure it's all pretty good. Then you've got your signal wire, the white wire, which will wrap around and float around and it'll go in down through there into the cabin and then link up to the, um, the harness for the throttle pedal, which is that little jobby there, look, all right. Um, this is the loom for the Stein bar, as you can see, all the proper connectors, they don't mess around, it's all done properly. That's the Stein bar power module, which is your normal Stein bar, comes with a uh, embossed Stein bar on the top of the box. We have our own boxes made for us, um, not with the sticker, obviously that sticker is done for us by Mr. Sticker, who does all our graphics, we put that on, so um, yeah, it's just a, advertisement for us isn't it so but yeah as we come round I've done it the other way this time so that it's facing the same as the van so as you can see look same intercooler all sat in black with the orange MJP logo as you can see looks really cool um, and that's the first one we've done with the um, orange logo I like orange obviously it's one of my favorite colors so I wouldn't have it on my car else but I own my local setup like that look yeah um, but yeah, so we got the satin black. There's your boost pipes, all right? And then you've got the crossover pipe, which we said before, which is made for, all this is made for us exclusively by Pro Alloy. So if you do, you know, if you're interested and you own an, it doesn't have to be an MSRT one, it can be a Transit Custom, you can Transit Custom Sport, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as it's two liter Euro six, you can have this. Um, and then you can customize it to whatever you like, you know matte black, satin black, gloss black, satin silver, um, mixed between the two, um, lots of different colors in the silicone hoses. Um, so yeah, the, the, the choices are endless. And obviously then you've got your open cone fit with their look, which is an ITG one, which is obviously they've just got their own brand on it, Pro Alloy, haven't they? Um, wherever you can, always makes sense to get your branding on it, doesn't it, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so that's about it really. Um, we just got to start building it off, haven't we? Same as the other one, which is there, look. All right, so I need to crack on. It's quite time consuming. It, just, it takes obviously longer because I'm doing lots of pictures, shooting a video, well, that's what I'm doing now. So it all like zaps the time, but I enjoy doing it. And the customers get really excited um, because then we'll see their vehicle, whether it be a car or a van is on our channel. So yeah, it's quite exciting for them. So, all good. I need to crack on, so we'll catch up in a bit, okay? Right, just thought I'd uh, just show you under the bonnet uh, before I start putting it all back together. Just a recap, really, just to show you the, the actual Steinbar loom, look, which is a go-between um, on the injectors, and then obviously boost pressure sensor. But that's it, so that's all tagged in. That's all connected, I'll we'll put the, um, sound and then you know the little cover back on um, and then start building the rest of it back up obviously we've got all the pipe work to go on yet and the intercooler to go back on which is there look go around that way so you can get probably around there look so yeah that's what it was to show you it's stripped really so we'll start putting it all back together this is you know the second van so yeah let's crack on catch up in a bit right guys and girls um Number two MSRT Flame Orange Transit Van is completed. Uh, I thought I'd just leave the Steinbar advertisement plate on that one. That's cool. Let me go down, let me scan down, look. And then you can see the MJP in orange, look. So, yeah, tough old task, this one. Um, I've been busy all week. Um, Mike, our um, latest. Uh, member to join the team. Uh, he's mustered Mike. Um, really, really impressed with him. Um, very much like me, he can cracks on with it. He knows his stuff. Obviously, there's things that um, he knows that I don't and vice versa. So um, it's good. Um, yeah, building a strong team. Um, he's on holiday for, uh, for the week. So 
you know, come at the wrong time really, but you know, that's when his holiday was booked. Of course we honor that. It's just unfortunate that these two transits were booked in the same time as Mike was um, going on holiday. There's a few delays with getting the vans to us. Um, they could have been here. I think they should have been here a bit earlier, but it um, doesn't matter. Um, we crack on and yeah, I've pulled out all the stops and um, cracked both of the vans out. Um, you know, today is Sunday, yesterday, Saturday. So cracked them out over the two days. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. As you can see, it's identical to the first van that we've done, you know, with your, uh, our satin black, the crossover pipe with our tag on it, prior lice tag. And we got our exclusive, the silicon hoses, which are made for us by Jazz Performance. All the uh, marine, stainless steel clip kit and the filler which we showed you before with the pro alloy logo on it yeah so it's pretty cool um underneath we think it shows that before with the with the boost pipes underneath from the intercooler but yeah so now all i've got to do now is um just uh, road test time so i'll take the first one out make sure that's okay um obviously we when you disconnect things you're going to have certain fault codes throw up with the injectors and the boost pressure sensor and all this sort of stuff. And you disconnect and take the bumper off. So, um, you know, with the parking centers and that sort of thing. So headlights, you can take the headlights out. But yeah, we're going to clear all that down, make sure it's all good. Um, yeah, and then just check it again when, it, when we come back off um, uh, off road test. But yeah, there's a Steinbauer power module. Look, as I said before, they come, you know, um, with the embossed case with Steinbauer on it. We don't have them, ours are plain boxes exclusively done for us, and then we put our own branding on the top of them. But yeah, as I said before, they come preset with the potentiometer inside set at 12 o'clock. You don't need to go that, they perform perfectly well where it is, so um, don't really mess around with that. Anybody who's going to be fitting it themselves, you don't need to, all right? Um, yeah, that's it. So let's get the road test done, and then uh, we'll finish it up with it tomorrow when they're both outside. Um, yeah, we can talk about them both then. All right, so see you in a bit. All right, guys and girls, um, the last installment of the two MSRT Flame Orange Transits um, that have been brought down to us from Liverpool. So very humbling, um, you know, what can I say, amazing. Um, these are both work vehicles, as you can clearly see. That one there is a bit grubby under the bonnet, um, so they get used, um, okay? so. That's the what sort of business is he in, or what is it? Is um, you remember? Oh, yeah, there you go then. So um, I wasn't quite sure what it is that they were doing, but yeah. So as you can see, look, let's have a quick gander under the bonnet of this is this yeah this is yeah this is the first one that I've done, um, which is Mike's um, own van, and then obviously his business partner is that one over there, which we'll take a look at in a minute. So all done, all completed. Um, Steinbauer power modular, as I said before, these are um, plain boxes, so we can put our own label on the top of it. Um, the crossover pipe, all in satin black. Um, and we got our own exclusive silicon hoses done by JS Performance for us um, in the orange with the white logo, which is pretty cool. The other ones are down there, which you can sort of like see, look, can you? On the cold side and the outside, side, and then you've got the. Your, Prioloy air filter it was made by ITG. Um, so yeah, all looks pretty cool. Um, and then you can have a look down here, look more. <coughs> and little, our MJP logo on the huge intercooler. So you can see the size of it, that goes all the way to the top. The standard one is, blimey, it's probably about that big. It's not much fatter than the number plate. Really titchy. Um, and then we shoot across to the second one that I've done, which is like a mirror, really, isn't it? I'm a power module the same, the wiring, same cross plate, same, exactly the same really. Um, and then the same on the intercooler, look, they come down on the front, same thing again. The intercooler, the MJP logo in orange, and as you can see, look, full height again. Um, Mike's, which is this one, we put front and rear brake pads in it as well, genuine four ones, um, set of lockers. But um, yeah, so that's it, they're both complete. I mean, very challenging. Um, I've done it myself over the weekend because um, Mike is on holiday so it would have been a lot easier obviously but we had to get them cracked out they're being collected tomorrow and shipped back to Liverpool I believe um, but yeah so um, that's it 
Nothing more to say really, Laura, is it? Really? Uh, apart from it's starting to drizzle, got to get the road, Laura's going to take them out for a road test just to bed the brakes in on mics and then give them a good blast in just to make sure everything's all right. I've been out in them already just um, briefly, um, but they're taking for a decent road test now um, before we uh, before collection tomorrow. So usual thing guys, you know, this is great. We've got another two on their way down, not flame orange, one's white, one's black, I believe, for the same, both and alls for the same sort of package, but different color schemes. You'll see that as I do it, I'll, I'll um, you know, show it all as I go uh, across our social media platforms. But um, yeah, so if you own a Transit, gotta be a two liter Euro six, I get asked this all the time, you do it for the 2.2s. No, it's just for the two liter Euro six. Um, doesn't matter if it's manual or auto, and could be a Ford Transit, could be a Transit Custom Sport, um, MSRT, makes no odds which one it is. It's all compatible, right? And you can customize it, as you can see, clearly see here, how you want different color schemes. So um, yeah, if you're interested in having this sort of thing done, I mean, your the Steinbauer power module is what I use. We don't interfere with the ECU, and then you'll get 20% more power and torque through the range, depending on what it starts off with in the first place. All right, so it doesn't have to be a 168 horsepower one. Um, the data one's a 185 PS, uh, or it can be the 130, but it doesn't make them up, makes no odds. It's all, you can have this, all right? Um, but yeah, so get in touch, um, whether it be messaging, preferably on the phone, because then we can talk to you about your, you know, um, specific requirements, because it's custom in it. All right, so we'll leave it at that, because like I said, Laura said it's starting to drizzle now, and she doesn't want to get her hair wet. Um, not bothered about mine, um, all right? So there we are. Um, thanks ever so much for listening, um, as always. So like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, comments down below, really important. And um, yeah, we'll catch up with you really soon. So ciao for now.